Becky here from Notes from the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me again today. It's lovely to have you with me as always. So today we are into week three of Me Made May and I've just been guiding you through basically what handmade wardrobe bits and pieces I've been wearing over the last few weeks. So this is actually the third video that I filmed um, to do with Me Made May and I've been trying to wear something different every day if I can that is handmade or if I've not got enough handmade things um, basically style things in a different way and that's quite helpful to me because it sort of opens my eyes I suppose to how I can style things differently in the future rather than just reaching for the same old things from my wardrobe all the time basically because I really like them or perhaps that's the latest thing that I've made etc so if you are interested in videos one and two then I will link those up above or down below um, in the description box and then uh, you can check those out if you are interested so we're now into day 16 of Me Made May and today I'm wearing two handmade pieces so this is actually my Molly top by Sew Over It. So this is a great top if you're unfamiliar with it. It's basically one that came in one of the ebooks that they did. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was but I will link it down in the description box. It's a lovely lovely top um, and that's because it could be made in something like a cotton jersey or you can make it in maybe even a viscose. I made mine in a French terry which I think has worked really nicely because today it's been rainy and drizzly and just one of those kind of like ugh, type of days, if you know what I mean. So it's quite nice to wear something that is a little bit more on the cosy side, even though we are in the middle of May and perhaps it should be warming up a little bit. But there we are. Um, so this is quite a nice one because I can wear a little cardigan over the top and, you know, I'm quite comfortable in it. I wish when I'd made this that I'd had a little bit more fun with the placement of the stripes because um, the nice thing about this top is um, the, the first pattern pieces has got grown on, on sleeves um, so it actually finishes there and then you add on the rest of the arm piece so what I wish I'd done is I wish that I'd run the stripes in the opposite direction for the bottom piece of the arm but Hey ho, I didn't, So, but I'll remember that for next time if I have a go at making this again. I have made the molly top a couple of times. I made mine in a straight size 10 with no changes to it, um, I don't think, anyway, not that I remember. Um, and it's, like I say, really comfortable, really good for kind of day wear. And today I'm teaming it up with a skirt hack. <laughs> so this is actually one of my favourite kind of hacks that I've done. And that is it's a, the Camby skirt slash dress um, by so so holic patterns so um it's supposed to be a dress basically and i've turned it into a skirt by adding on a waistband so um i'm going to put in some footage as always of what i look like wearing this little outfit today but i really like this little skirt it's an a-line skirt it's a really basic skirt um, i made it out of um, just a plain denim fabric it goes with lots of things i really like that the pockets are kind of in it's kind of on the front of the skirt if you know what I mean um they're a decent depth pocket um which I find quite helpful for putting bits and pieces in um you know I've I've got a young uh, toddler and I'm always picking bits and bobs up I always need a tissue or you know whatever so having those deep pockets is actually super useful so yes this is quite a nice little outfit today I've got a super busy day today um doing different bits and pieces it is a work day for me um and I've got all the usual house stuff to do as well so this is quite um, a nice little outfit to wear for a working at home day for me but I'll be back tomorrow to guide you through what I'm wearing for day 17. Day 17 today of Me Made May and it's a work day for me so I'm just filming this at the end of my day basically before I go and do um, the nursery pickup and everything um, and today I'm wearing another Alex shirt dress. I say another one because I wore an Alex shirt dress last week as well so I don't know if you've seen my um, my previous um, week view of all my handmade bits and pieces that I've been wearing. So this is actually the first Alex shirt dress that I made um, and it's in a lovely viscose fabric with this lovely spotty print. So um, I got this from Minerva I think quite a while ago, probably a good couple of years ago to be honest, um, but it's got a lovely uh, light feel to it, it feels lovely against my skin and it's perfect for a daylight today as well because it's just looking out of the window it's kind of 
a bit muddly. It's not, <laughs> it's not uh, really hot, but it's not too cool either. So this is actually the perfect outfit because I've got these kind of three quarter length sleeves, which I quite like. So yeah, it's my kind of in-betweeny type dress, if that makes sense. Um, I will, of course, put in some footage so you can see what it looks like full length as well. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely dress. So this one is actually from the um, Sew so Over It ebook called, I think it's the City Break ebook. Um, I will put the details down below though in the, um, the the description box if you are interested. And I believe that this dress is available in sizes eight through to twenty. Um, and I made mine actually in a say, straight size ten, <laughs> if I can get my words out properly. And um, yeah, I really like it. The only major change that I made was to the hem. Rather than it having a dipped hem, I actually just straightened off the hem at the bottom. Um, I can't remember what the difference was in terms of inches or centimetres, but I literally just shortened it um, to my preferred length. So the dress finish is just above my knees, which is quite a nice length for me. Um, I think this is a nice practical one because I can wear it into the office if I want to, but also, you know, I can wear it at home like I am today. And that's, that's also good as well. It looks quite smart for video calls and things, but also it's quite comfortable to wear. I actually made a little tie belt for mine as well, just to pull it in a little bit at the middle, but obviously that's personal preference and up to you. If you can hear <laughs> Labrador ears flapping around, Bentley is just <laughs> down here. So I don't know if you can hear him or not, but um, yeah, his collar's rattling and things like that. So but anyway, I'm probably looking a little bit tired. It's been a bit of a long few days. Uh, my little boy's not been very well the last few days. So we've been up a little bit in the night and that sort of thing. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he's feeling a little bit better now. So that's good. I think he just got a little bit of a bug of some sort. Um, but yes, onwards and upwards, we're supposed to be going away this weekend. So hopefully um, that's going to be a lovely weekend away. But I will update you on that in in time when we've been and I'll let you know what we've been up to and whatnot when we were there. But I shall see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I am in my home office today, just about to start work for the day. And I just thought I'd check in and let you know what I'm wearing for day 18. So today I've actually dug out quite an old dress, um, but one that I like. And I actually made it as a kind of test version for myself just to see if I was going to like it or not. And that is the Hinterland dress by So Liberated. So I absolutely love this dress, um, but it was just made in a really cheap fabric that I picked up from, I think it was Birmingham Rag Market um, during one of those um, So Brum events that I went to. And um, it is a lovely dress. Um, it's a kind of very light viscose type material, which is quite nice for today because it's quite sunny outside. Not that I'm outside <laughs> because I'm actually working today. But um, nevertheless, it makes me feel a little bit summery wearing this dress. So as I have every other day, I'm going to put in a little bit of footage of uh, what I'm looking like today, what the dress looks like. Um, and I'm actually wearing it with a ready to wear cardigan as well, which is quite nice. Just keeps my arms a little bit warmer. Um, I made this in the smallest size, I believe, in the pattern pack. And I also added on a little tie belt to the back of the dress as well. Now, this dress is designed to have quite a lot of ease in, in it. Um, that's why I sized down and I made the smallest um, size that was available. And to be honest, I've still got um, quite a lot of wiggle room in there. I don't have to open up the buttons to put on the dress at the top. I literally just slot it on over my head and then I can tie up uh, the little belt at the back if I want to. Um, so, yeah, I really like this one. It is perfect for summertime and I'm hoping to make another one quite soon. Um, I did find that I actually made the shorter length and it was too short for me. So I ended up adding on another little panel at the bottom. So I will keep that in mind for next time. Um, as you know, I'm quite a tall lady. I'm, I'm five foot ten. Um, so I should have probably looked at the pattern pieces a little bit closer before I cut them out. Um, but nevertheless, you know, you learn from these things, don't you? So and as it was, I'd got a, enough fabric that I could add on a little bit at the bottom as well um, to create the extra panel. So that worked out OK. Um, this was actually a big hit for me um, during the time that I was pregnant. It's not a pregnancy pattern, but it's really nice because it's got an empire line bodice, uh, which works out quite nicely um, for a growing tummy. Um, I'm not pregnant at the moment, um, but um, you know, this is a, a lovely dress um, to wear, you know, whether you know you're pregnant or not, to be honest. So yeah, it is a, it's a nice one. 
but um, if, you, if you've tried the hinterland dress, I'd love to know how you found it and what kind of fabric you made yours in as well. Um, but for today, I shall leave it there and I'll be back soon. Good morning, it's the 20th of May today and I can't believe how quick May is going at the moment. Um, I missed yesterday in terms of filming my Me Made May um, little video clip because I was just really busy. We went to a baby class and I did a load of other stuff and to be honest, by the evening I was just absolutely shattered and didn't have a chance to um, film my clip. So there we are. But I'm just going to stick in a little picture of what I was wearing yesterday. So that is the Helen's Closet Gilbert top, which is a really nice little top I made out of a cotton poplin fabric that I got from Minerva and it's got a little uh, tie front, which is really nice. And I was also wearing a self-drafted chambray denim skirt as well, which is a really nice one. It's got an elastic waist, it's got a bit of an A-line feel to it, a bit of a swishiness in the skirt, and um, it's got some pockets on the front as well. So super, super comfortable for kind of everyday time, type of activities. So today is going to be another busy day because I'm heading to Suffolk and I'm looking forward to it. We're spending some time with some family. So I'm going with my husband and my little boy, but also we're meeting some other family there as well. So I'm really excited about that. So um, I'm pretty much going to be dashing out into the car soon. So I'm just filming this little clip um, before we go. Um, I am going to put in some full length footage of, of what I'm wearing today. But basically, I've got a ready to wear cardigan on, uh, which you may remember from earlier on in May. Um, I've also got on a little you can probably hear William in the background I've got um my little um galaxy t-shirt on which is a pattern scissors cloth one and I've also got a little denim skirt on which I made as well which is another hack of the um can be pattern by Sewaholic. So yes, it's um a lovely little outfit comfortable for traveling and to be honest this is kind of my everyday type of wardrobe. Um, I love a denim skirt, I love a nice t-shirt, so I'm all set for today. But I hope you're having a good month so far and I'll see you again soon. Good morning! Uh, today I'm in Suffolk on holiday, which is really, really nice. So I'm just checking in really quickly because we're just about to get out of the car. Um, I will put in some pictures of what I'm wearing today, but today is day 21 of Me Made May and I have a homemade, handmade Tilling the Buttons Stevie top on and I also have a Forget Me Not Patterns Ella skirt, both made in matching fabric that I got from So Hayley Jane. <laughs> Forgot what it was called then. Um, so yes, it's really nice. It's a viscose fabric. Um, you can probably see William just in the background there because uh, we're just about to get out of the car. So I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hello, day 22 of Me Made May and today I'm wearing a Friday Pattern Company Sage Brush Top and I'm also wearing another Forget Me Not Patterns Ella Skirt and I'm down in Suffolk and you can see some beach huts behind me. Here is my lovely husband and in the background you can see the lovely seaside. So I'll be back again tomorrow to show you what I'm wearing for day 23. Hi everyone, day 23 of Me Made May and I'm still in Suffolk and shortly going to be heading home. I'm just walking on the seafront with the pram at the moment so you can just see the beach there behind me. Uh, today I'm wearing one of my Galaxy t-shirts by Pat and Scissors Cloth. Um, I will pop in a picture because it's, uh, it's very very um, chilly and rainy down here at the moment so um, I don't really want to be uh, just in my t-shirt down here but um, yes I shall be back on tomorrow when I'm home and I'll be uh, telling you what I've got on for day 24. Till then see you later bye! Hi day 24 today of Me Made May and today I am at home I'm actually on the annual leave today so we went to Suffolk over the weekend and we had a really really lovely time spending time with family and exploring the seaside and playing on the beach and everything like that so it was really really fun um, we had a really really long trip home yesterday it seemed to take absolutely forever because there was busy traffic and all the rest of it but we eventually got back and um, um, safe and sound so that's the main thing and had to quickly get tea done and get William ready for bed and all of that and then um, we had a, a rare evening out me and my husband so I had a babysitter organized and um, we went out so that was really really nice and um, today I'm absolutely shattered <laughs> because it was just such a busy few days um, but anyway I'm not here to tell you about that I'm here to tell you what I am wearing today so today I have if we just show you a little bit <laughs> and then we'll put in some footage or a picture or whatnot so you can see the full length um, but I'm actually wearing a sew over it Betty dress today which is made out of a chambray fabric so the Betty dress is one of my all-time favorites and this one is actually got a gathered skirt so that's something that I just added on to the bodice and I really like how if it's got a gathered skirt 
for me personally I feel like it's a bit more dressed down than the circle skirt option so yes i really like this dress i've worn it loads i really like the print of it it's got a kind of little paris theme if i just kind of show you a little bit um you might be able to see but yeah i'm wearing it with a ready to wear cardigan which you probably <laughs> recognize i've worn it a few times during me made bay it's one of my favorite cardigans just a little pink kind of mid-length cardigan which is quite nice but anyway um i'm just on my way to the supermarket so i was just checking in quickly and I'll be back tomorrow with a further update of where I am in terms of my handmade wardrobe but I hope you're having a good week and I'll see you soon. Day 25 today of Me Made May and today I'm working at home so I'm wearing one of my much loved and much favoured Agnes tops so this is a lovely one with ruched sleeves which I really really like and it's made out of a beautiful cotton jersey. I think it might have been a Lady McElroy cotton jersey, which I got from Minerva a little while ago. And it works really nicely tucked into a denim skirt or worn with jeans or something like that. And I just love that it's got some bright green spots on the pink background. So I made this in a Tilly and the Button size three at the top and then I graded out slightly to a four towards the hip area. Um, this top has been worn loads. I absolutely love it. You'll probably know that I'm a massive fan of the Agnes top anyway. I've got quite a few of them in my drawer of things that I've made. So I definitely recommend that pattern if you haven't tried it before. Um, I will, of course, put in a little picture of me wearing the top today so that you can see what it looks like full length. But I shall see you again soon tomorrow, probably, <laughs> with a further update of how I'm getting on. Hi, day 26 today of Me Made May. And today I'm wearing my Tilly and the Buttons pearl cardigan and it's made out of this gorgeous green and black sweatshirting fabric that I bought from Higgs and Higgs a while ago. I made my pearl cardigan in a straightforward tilly size three and I found that actually the length was okay. I know some people have lengthened it slightly and I'm quite a tall lady and um, I'm five foot ten um, but actually I think because I tend to wear high-waisted skirts and things it's actually fine um, but obviously it's personal preference it just depends what you like um, but for me the length is okay okay and I found actually the length of the arms is okay as well because sometimes I find with Tilly's patterns that I do need to lengthen the arms slightly but on this one it was actually okay. It's not been a great day today for a number of different reasons. We were having a carpet delivered and we ended up getting the wrong one and well long story but anyway it's all sorted now so that's really good and the carpet company were amazing about it so that's really good but all a little bit stressful but we've just been to soft play so that was quite fun and um, I've been down the slide a few times and uh, yeah we both really enjoyed that and me and my little boy are both wearing matching jumpers today so as I said I've got my pearl cardigan on and William has also got a little strawberry sweatshirt on which is by Poppy in Jazz Patterns and the one he's wearing today is in a size 12 to 18 months I think I could probably do with tracing out the next size up but I've just not got around to it yet but this one's actually fine for him at the moment but anyway I'll be back tomorrow it's almost the end of the month now so I hope you've enjoyed my updates each day and don't forget to let me know if you've been taking part in the challenge and if you have have you found it and um you know if you found any gaps in your wardrobe etc good morning day 27 today of me made may and today I'm wearing a vintagey type shirt that I made from a very very old pattern that I got from women's own magazine or woman's own magazine should I say and it was something that was gifted to me by my mother-in-law I believe absolutely ages ago but it's a lovely shirt if I just scan down a little bit you'd be able to see so it's made out of an art gallery cotton poplin fabric that I got from Minerva I think and it's got little tiny footprints all over it which is super cute and I've got little black buttons down the front so yeah, I really, really like this one. The vintage pattern was only available in a size 12, so that's the size that I made. And the size is actually not too bad for me, to be honest. Today, I'm teaming it up with a bobby skirt by Tilly and the Buttons. And if you saw any of my previous videos, you might know that I had a little bit of an issue when I made the bobby skirt. So I ended up missing off the waistband in the end and just bias binding the top bit instead. Um, but it seems to have worked out okay. Um, the fabric I've made it out of is probably not absolutely perfect. It's a stretch denim, so I wear it once and then it kind of stretches out of shape a little bit, which is a bit of a pain, but yeah, it's okay. I can still wear it and, you know, I am doing. So that's okay. I'm just getting ready to go swimming 
and um, yeah, I've got a bit, bit of a busy day ahead as always, but I just thought I'd check in now and let you know about my outfit for today. I hope you're having a good day. Good morning, it's day 29 today of Me Made Me and I actually missed doing a little video yesterday. Basically, I went into town and had a walk around with my family and stuff and by the time we came back, I got such a bad headache. So I just decided that I, I'd give it a miss yesterday, so I hope you don't mind. Um, but yes, today I'm back with another little post about what I'm wearing as part of Me Made Me and I've got something on which is hot off my sewing machine and I literally finished it last night so it really is hot off the sewing machine so I'm wearing a sew over it Roxy jumper so I've wanted to make this jumper for ages and I'm pleased that I got around to doing it the sleeves are amazing so I really really like them I'm gonna put in a picture of me wearing the jumper so you can see it um, I love the crop length of it as well but the neckline didn't work out as I thought that it would I thought it perhaps would be a little bit more on the square side but maybe I got that wrong and it shouldn't have been but it's got quite a nice scoop on the neck so I do like that. I'm wearing it in a beautiful fabric which I got given from by Graziella Fabrics and it's a French terry fabric and it's got this beautiful spot print on it so I really really love that and I love the bright lilac colour as well. I made the Roxy jumper in a straightforward size 10, I made no changes to it. The only thing I would say is the neckband was rather short and I think that's probably because of the type of fabric that I've used and it didn't have so much stretch in. Probably if I was using a ribbing for the neck, it probably would have worked out better. But I've had to extend the neckband by about ooh, two to three inches. So it's quite a lot, actually. Overall, I'm really, really happy with my jumper. So I definitely recommend trying this pattern if you haven't already. I think it's going to look great over the top of a denim skirt like I'm wearing it today. But you could, of course, wear it with a dress underneath perhaps or some jeans something like that it is quite a crop jumper so just depends on what you feel comfortable wearing with a crop jumper i suppose but anyway i'll be back tomorrow so i'll see you soon hi we made it to the end of the month it's the 31st of may and today i'm wearing yet another agnes top i can't remember if i wore this one earlier in may or not it's got little tiny spots all over if i just come closer to the camera there um, this one is made out of a cotton jersey fabric and I really like it. Um, it's quite plain, it's got the, the plain scoop neckline, we've got some kind of three quarter length arms and I'm actually wearing it with a brand new upcycling project which I've worked on, which is a spotty skirt. So I'm going to put in a little picture of me wearing it here. Um, but it's a really nice little skirt project. Um, it started off as a dress, I've changed the buttons on it and I've turned it into basically a flared gathered type skirt um, which I think is actually going to be perfect to wear um, over the Jubilee weekend which is coming up soon and yes I'm, I'm excited basically to have a new skirt I love working on little upcycling projects it's just really fun it kind of pushes me to be a little bit more creative and not just kind of stick to a particular pattern or particular instructions or anything like that. Um, I basically just kind of made this one up as I went along. I've made my own little waistband basically out of the original top and then I've just added it onto the skirt and gathered it all up, sewn it together and hey presto, I've got myself a little skirt to wear. So yes, I'm really, really pleased with this one, but thank you so much for joining me throughout the month. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little diary entries too. And um, yes, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's, um, it's always nice to have you here with me. I, I, I share all kinds of different projects, usually on my channel, sewing projects, upcycling projects. I talk about fabric, I talk about sewing patterns. I'm always looking for different inspiration as well. So I'd love to know what you're working on this month if you've got any projects on the go. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching my video today and seeing all of my handmade outfits um, through this week. If you have, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed already and does continue to give me those thumbs up and comments below. Um, I do love to have a chat to you in the comments section, so do leave me a message below if you can. Um, but until next time, I'll leave it there. And if you have got any other ideas of videos for me to have a look at or try and film um, in the future, then do let me know about that as well, because I do want you to enjoy watching what I've got here on my channel. But until next time, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you soon. Bye.